Hey foodies, you asked for it. The day has finally come. Today I'm going to show you how to make my favorite hummus. Woohoo! I love it. It's so easy to make. After this video, you're never going to want to buy store bought again. I guarantee you. It is super easy. All you have to do is follow these steps and you are on the road to hummus perfection. Let's begin. So I'm a huge garlic fan, so I'm going to put in three rather large cloves of garlic. You can adjust that accordingly to your liking, but I need that little extra kick. So the first step, throw these in the food processor, make sure it's all plugged in, and give it a whirl. When you're using a food processor, the garlic will tend to kind of creep up on the sides, so I might have to go around the edges like this a few times and just scrape it down. Say, hey garlic, stay in your place. You're going in my belly soon. Get down there in the food processor. So I'm looking for a pretty fine texture because I don't know about you, but I don't really want a huge garlic clump in my hummus. That's not something that makes my day. Next step, in go our two cans of garbanzo beans. Pouring them in, oh yeah. And then you are going to put in a little bit of tahini. I'm gonna use about a third of a cup. Again, you can adjust that accordingly to your liking. Make sure when you're using tahini that it is mixed up thoroughly because when tahini has been sitting in the jar for a little while, it starts to separate and the oil goes to the top and then this hardened tahini paste is at the bottom. So you wanna make sure that it's all evenly distributed throughout the jar before you put it in your hummus. I'm gonna start with that, I'm gonna blend that up and then I'm going to be able to eyeball to see to make sure that that consistency stays put. Because flavor is very important, but for hummus, for me, the consistency is everything. I don't want that hummus to be too thick, too chalky, and I don't want it to be too liquid either. So by doing most of the, um, the dry ingredients first, then I'll be able to have better control later on to make sure that it's just the right consistency that I want. Now, you won't be able to get it to a very fine grate yet because you need to add some olive oil, which we're going to do right now. <laughs> All right, it's a little over a third, that's okay. No one's counting, except for maybe me. All right. All right, as it's, I like to do this as it's grinding, as it's mixing up, so that I can see how that consistency is going. All right, and I don't know if you can see, but it's already starting to thin. Four, four, four. So next I'm going to add a quarter cup of lemon juice. This took me one and a half lemons. It will adjust depending on how big your lemons are. So I'm going to turn the food processor on and then I'm going to slowly add in our lemon juice. Quarter cup was perfect. The texture is absolutely right where we want it. Next I'm going to add in the cumin. If you want to measure it out, you can do about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. I'm just going to eyeball it. It's pretty simple, and if you taste it along the way, you'll know exactly how much cumin you want. One teaspoon of kosher salt. And blend. is some good looking hummus. Now, if you're thinking you need a little more pizzazz, don't worry, I've got you covered. If you're a spice fiend like myself, add one tablespoon of smoked paprika for a rich spicy hummus. And if you want to kick it up another notch, you can add three to four marinated artichoke hearts for a lighter twist on this classic Mediterranean dish. Drizzle with olive oil, serve with your favorite raw vegetables or pita bread, and enjoy. All right, so here all my hummuses are, all out and ready to eat. I have my classic hummus on the left, I have my spicy hummus on the right, and my spicy artichoke hummus in the middle. So let's try a red pepper stick with our spicy hummus. Let's 
Let's get a nice little scoop of that. Give it a bite. Mm. The smoked paprika really gives it a nice depth and warms it up without being overpowering. And the little garnish of the smoked paprika on the top with the olive oil is a really nice presentation. Moving on down the line, we're gonna take a sugar snappy and we're gonna try our spicy artichoke hummus. Let's give this a whirl. All right, get a little of that olive oil in there. First, I'm gonna taste it. Mm. The artichoke, it makes it a little lighter. Like the artichoke with the lemon kind of brighten it up, but you still have that smoky depth from the smoked paprika. I really like this one. I almost like it more than the smoke because it just gives another element. I'm gonna dip this. Mm. And with the sugar snap pea, it's to die for. Now last but not least, I'm going to try my classic hummus with a broccoli stick. You guys don't even need pita bread for this. Skip the pita and go veggie. It's healthier for you, less carbs. All right, let's take a bite. It's just a great classic hummus. If you want all the bells and whistles of a smoked paprika, and artichoke hearts. You can do that, and I love it, but there's nothing like a great classic garlic hummus. So that's it. Hummus is simple, easy to make, absolutely delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make some of your own hummus and leave it as a video response. I would absolutely love to see what you guys whip up. I'll talk to you later. Bye. My boyfriend says that store-bought hummus does not compare to my hummus. Oh, look at that. Testimonial right there. Damn. I mean, he's not biased or anything.